Well, good afternoon and welcome to Litson RV here inside our marketing studio where we're literally only one mile north of the Winnebago, Itasca and Winnebago Touring Coach Division of Winnebago Industries right here in Forest City, Iowa. I want to welcome all of you to today's live monthly video webcast in which we're going to cover all of the mid-year running line change enhancements that were made to the 2017 Winnebago Touring Coach Travato. Inside our studio today, we actually have the 59G floor plan as well as the 59K floor plan. And we're gonna walk you specifically through those enhancements uh, that were made mid-year to the Winnebago Touring Coach Travato. We have wonderful media on our website in terms of high definition walkthrough videos, hundreds of pictures, uh, all the data, brochures, and window stickers that you might need. So we're not gonna cover a full walkthrough today. We're gonna specifically cover the enhancements that were made for mid-year. As we do with all of our live monthly web webcasts, we're gonna cover all of your questions live. So if you look in the lower right hand corner of your screen, you'll see two tabs. You'll see a video tab as well as a chat tab. If you click on the chat tab, uh, you're able to submit questions to us and we'll cover those live as we go through today's uh, introduction to the running line change enhancements. I want to welcome a few special people with us here today. Uh, behind the camera is Hope Litson. Uh, she's one of the officers and marketing director here at Litson RV, as well as Heidi Thompson. Uh, Heidi is our vice president and general manager here at Litson RV, again, uh, inside our market studio today as we walk you through the Travato. So again, be sure to chat in all of your questions live. That is really where we can provide the most value and cover those types of things that are important to you, our guests, as we walk you through the Travato 59G and 59K. Also keep in mind with any of our factory trained sales consultants here at Litson RV, we can do the same type of a live interactive presentation with you as we do almost daily here inside our studio or anywhere on our campus where we can broadcast live uh, right on our website so that we can cover the things that are important to you. We can conference in a partner, a spouse, and, and just have a wonderful three-way dialogue um, covering the things that are important to you. So we literally can bring uh, the dealership experience of an appointment right to your home or office. So again, today we're gonna cover the enhancements to the Winnebago Touring Coach Travato. Um, right behind me is the 59G floor plan. And one of the things that you'll find as I prop my stubby little legs up front are the fact that we do have full length of aluminum extruded running boards that are available on both the 59G and the 59K. Uh, one thing that's great about these and some additional media that we just added to our website is these are actually illuminated on both sides. So full length running boards are included alongside the patio side and then also an easy to access entry assist step for the driver side. Again, these are fully illuminated. This is actually an option. Um, that can be added, it's a no cost option. It's on all of our inventory that we have, uh, as this is kind of the preferred option that a lot of people have selected. Uh, provides a lot of ease of access, and if you're using this as a seat out towards your patio side, it's a great place where you can actually prop down and rest your legs. So again, full length uh, aluminum extruded running boards on both this, the 59G, as well as the 59K. We have a couple questions, just generally before we get started. Um, the changes mid-year, why, since sure. uh, we have 18s coming out later, Sure. what the philosophy is. So the logic that Winnebago's adopted is, is more of a uh, speed to market philosophy. So when they have an enhancement that they believe that is going to be ready for the marketplace, they'll drop it real time so that they won't be actually waiting until the introduction of a model year. Um, for those of you that are curious, we expect to see 2018's cut over uh, late spring, early summer, so kind of in that May to June time frame. Um, a lot of these enhancements have been picked up from a lot of feedback listening that Russ Garfin and his team over at Winnebago Industries have absolutely adopted in terms of trying to drop things that are important to you into production uh, based on the feedback that we've received. And Heidi, I'm glad that you brought that up because one thing that I do want to also cover is that as, as we brand today's webcast as calling this a 2017 and a half, there really is no such thing as a true 2017 and a half Winnebago Touring Coach Travato. It really is more of a marketing term that's been adopted by social media um, throughout different discussions to reflect the fact that that coach might have those running line change enhancements. So it's really more of a social media term than it really is a true nomenclature in terms of titling or in terms of what you're actually receiving from Winnebago. Couple of, you said you had a couple of questions. They're just concerned about your shorts. 
my shorts. What's wrong with my shorts? <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> well, it is mid-year, right? <laughs> it is. And it's beautiful here in Iowa today. It's going to hit almost 65 today, so uh, it's great. Um, as we look at the backdrop behind me, we have one awning that's in. We have one awning that's out. Uh, this is an all-new Colorado Carefree awning. This is actually uh, the Freedom Freestyle. Now, you've seen the Colorado Carefree Freedom used before, um, but the difference between that standard Freedom and the Freestyle is the fact that this is completely armless. So it's one touch uh, to extend, one touch to retract. Uh, there are no, are no arms that you have to deal with. Uh, you can always tell if it's a Freedom or a Freedom Freestyle uh, because you won't see the anchors. Uh, very simple to use. Uh, it is the longest armless patio awning used in the industry at 13 feet. Um, it does have dedicated LED lighting that you can see with the backdrop reflection. Uh, what's also wonderful about this is that it does have a motion sensor. So this will automatically retract the awning when winds um, approach a certain speed to where you get some vibration inside that awning. So again, this is a 13-foot Colorado Carefree Freedom Freestyle, and the freestyle designates the fact that it is truly armless. Did I miss anything on that? Okay, so on the outside of the RV, as we talk about that, um, we covered the running boards, we covered the awning. Um, I wanna just swing around to the rear, if that's okay with you, Hope and Heidi, um, to the back side of the 59G. So those, for some of you that are on some of the forums that you research a lot of these types of things, you're gonna see an all new service light uh, that's utilized on the driver's side. Uh, some of you are going to refer to this as the GSDL. This is the Greg Schultz dumping light uh, that you can see alongside the driver's side. Again, we've got rear cargo doors that open nearly 270 degrees. Uh, you can see the all-new light that's included alongside the driver's side above the dump center area. I know you don't want to do this whole, but since you live with me, this is pretty easy for you. So um, down inside your utility center, um, also the macerator switch for the 59G has been brought uh, right down towards your knife valves for dumping. Uh, so you can see the drain pump switch uh, right alongside the driver's side. Whereas before it was actually uh, located inside your utility area uh, right back here. So it made for kind of a two person drainage setup. Another thing that's unique, uh, specifically as we're looking at the 59G right now, is all of the water lines, and if we can kind of slide along to the patio side, um, all of the water lines inside the 59G have now been brought, been brought above floor. And you can always designate that by looking right inside your entry step when you see this redesigned area with the um, skid strip that's over the enclosure that's for the water lines that have been brought inside. So certainly going to extend your RV deeper into the season. Uh, we also have the option, which all of these actually do have in terms of our inventory, um, heated drainage on both sides um, for both the black side and the gray side. So those are dual warming pads that are actually adhered underneath the tank for draining the coach in sub-freezing temperatures. And that is powered by? So that's, that's a 12-volt feature. Yep. Yep. Um, just a couple of questions back to the awning. Yeah. Um, can we partially, um, can you partially extend the awning just to have a two foot coverage of the you bet. store? Absolutely. You bet. And it's now, you know, conveniently located right here for those of you that have... So you can start and stop it at any location. Um, for those of you that had seen that before, uh, we had run into a little bit of a hiccup on prior year models where that awning would actually catch the uh, cargo door, um, very simply overcoming that by simply having the door closed as you bring the awning in and out. But yeah, that can be started and stopped at any location. And then just approximate height of the corner rail to the ground, um, you know, from the corner of the awning when it's extended, approximate distance to the ground. Oh, when it's fully extended? Mm -hmm. uh, well, I'm six feet. So that's probably from this location, is that what you meant? Yep. So the question was roughly how much height do you have? Um, I'm six feet and I've still got two to three inches. You can also adjust the pitch to those. So if you'd like one side to always drain off the water, you can do that as well. And then just one last uh, one. We have 
uh, some phrasing that refers to the rear view monitor camera. Yep. Um, is that just a backup or is there ability to have a new feature? So it is a rear view camera monitoring system, so it's utilized when the vehicle is placed in reverse. Perfect. Yep. Yep. So again, the 59K always had the water lines above floor. Uh, new for the 59G, you can see that the water lines are now brought above floor to extend that camping season. Uh, a couple also additional enhancements inside that are readily apparent from right outside your patio area. Um, a nice Corian high luster flip up countertop extension uh, is included for the 59G. Right here. Uh, and then hope if you can cover right above the home theater system, uh, you can see additional storage has been located just above uh, that home theater system. And then hope if you can just swivel this way, sorry. Another new change that's been, been made and I've actually intentionally dropped this uh, halo light right here so that we get better uh, camera reflection. Um, this area has been completely redesigned in terms of the transition from the balance to the coach to the cockpit area. So this area has been redesigned, uh, certainly storage up top, um, but there is also LED halo lighting that is included all the way from side to side, which we just dropped down so that we'd get better uh, camera footage. So this area has been redesigned as well. So also up top on the roof, um, we do a lot of wonderful aerial shots um, in terms of digital media that we have on our website. Um, the air conditioning system has also been upgraded from a Coleman Mach 8 to a Coleman Mach 10. And really it provides two benefits. Um, it's going to consume a little bit less power upon startup, uh, but it's also slightly quieter on, quieter on the outside of the RV, not necessarily on the inside of the RV. So a little bit less uh, startup power and also quieter outside of the RV. And I should have covered this back behind here, but on the rear cargo bed, you'll also see that we've added additional sizing for straps so that when we bring that cargo bed up against the sidewall, uh, you could leave bedding on if you chose to. Uh, so a little bit more flexibility in this area in terms of the safety strap that recesses the cargo uh, area when you take that rear full bed and slide it up against the driver's side sidewall. How are we doing on questions? Good, just one about the sure. compartment above the driver and passenger seat, just approximately how big that is. Sure. Uh, we can slide around, I can kind of give a visual. So real deep area, uh, this is actually where we have currently um, stored the privacy shades for the front. Um, this is actually a, a 13 inch tablet, so you've got about probably eight to 10 inches tall. Uh, we can get you exact measurements if you'd like us to measure that. We, you can always chat in and, and we can uh, grab your contact info. Uh, but real deep area uh, that's utilized above here. Um, currently we have the window privacy shade stored as well as the fitted and removable um, cab floor mat. But again, keeping in mind a lot of these enhancements were made um, explicitly based on consumer feedback um, that our guests have provided uh, Russ Garfin and his team at Winnebago Industries. I think one of the questions we had coming into this that we get asked a lot and then we had a, someone specifically ask is to just clarify um, between deluxe paint and standard paint and what, what is the difference? Sure. And so I'll just repeat that uh, in case uh, you didn't catch it. Um, what all is included in the deluxe feature package for the upgraded paint. And what you're going to find is all of the balances around the wheel wells as well as the front bumper are painted as opposed to the standard ProMaster, um, kind of what I would call cladding. So it's primarily the, the wheel well area as well as the front and rear bumper. And then also it includes the paint, which actually if you slide to the left, hope it might be a little bit easier to see. Um, the paint that uh, comes around each of the windows and then also removes any of the decals, graphics, and replaces those with Travato diecast chrome on the sides as well as on the rear. So really the concept of that is providing a more automotive look, um, really trying to stray away from what is the traditional RV and provide a more stealth-like automotive appearance.
Um, just some discussion about the new racks that are yep. available, that they appear shorter than previous years, and then how you know how the solar panel is impacted if we attach that, if you have the rack. Sure. So the new rack system is exclusive for Winnebago Industries. It's designed by Summit Products. Uh, the Summit system is a fully aluminum extruded um, front and rear luggage rack system for the roof. Um, it does now have the multi-adjustable point ladder. So that ladder separates from the rear cargo door, uh, much like the video that you may see on our Winnebago Touring Coach Paseo. Uh, we currently don't have a Travado that has that rear um, ladder and overall luggage rack up on the roof here inside the studio today, uh, but that video is available online. So that ladder separates from the rear cargo door and then it includes multi-adjustable points where you can access from alongside the sidewall on the driver's side as well as to the rear. Now, if you do have the factory installed solar, it's actually attached to the rack system, but then sunken down so that you can store things over it is the way that that solar system then works with uh, the new Summit luggage rack system. And then just further question on the 59K, if you get the racks, it apparently puts two bars in front of the Max Air shroud, wondering if additional bars can be placed between the Max Air and the AC, if you would get those changes. You bet, and you can actually change that, you can reconfigure that rack system and those are adjustable. Um, each of those, um, pinion racks across holds about 40 pounds in terms of what that load is. Again, most of that weight is going to be spread across multiple points um, on that luggage rack system. Yep. And then attachment points are simply kits that are available. Correct. Yep. There are kits available from a lot of different bike manufacturers, um, different um, storage providers. Uh, you can utilize a lot of those that are available through Home Depot or Lowe's. Um, really the However you dream it up is how you can actually store things up on that rack and they're also adjustable. Uh, they hold a tremendous amount of weight, very flexible, um, very easy to access, especially with that ladder that now goes alongside the driver's side. It, you know, it's not a big demand for us. Um, I would probably estimate, Heidi, you can jump in here, probably less than 10% of our volume is utilized with the racks and the rear ladder. Um, but again, it's, it's up to you, our guest. So if you think you're gonna use it, it's a great option to have. Uh, it's fairly pricey. I, I think it's around $1,200 dealer cost when you include the, the ladder and uh, the overall luggage rack up top. And an improvement, doing? certainly. I think if you compare the current Summit wrap to what we've had previously, the actual usability for people to get up there and, and tie down kayaks or um, luggage units or whatever it is, it's, it's a lot uh, more user-friendly than we probably had before. Yeah, and it can give you some access for um, having multiple people to be able to load something up there. Um, but also, one of the constraints that we had was uh, when we were utilizing the old rack system, we were actually forced to utilize a Fiamma awning as opposed to this new Colorado Carefree Freedom Freestyle. And so not only did we lose uh, the flexibility of this type of an awning, but we also lost the LED lighting. Uh, because the Fiamma system didn't have that. So uh, some nice upgrades in conjunction with the new uh, luggage rack system in conjunction with the Colorado Carefree new armless awning. It really makes for utilizing your awning a lot simpler because um, you very simply can extend it with one touch and that's literally all you have to do. And if you forget about it and the wind comes up, it has the motion sensor on it to self-retract. And can you get the luggage rack without the ladder? Uh, you can, but I'm... We can do whatever you'd like. <laughs> I'll, I'll hold that judgment. Because obviously you're going to have to get up there somehow, I would assume. Yep, and then another just comment on the roof rack. Sounds like someone could attach a platform and they could perch atop the unit. Absolutely. <laughs> Haven't seen it, but would love to. And if you can broadcast it live, we'll do it right on our website. Um, another question just regarding the rack. It, some pictures have been shown where the ladder is put on the awning side. Mm -hmm. It appears to clear the awning because of its high curve. Yeah, it's, it's tight. Um, we've done it. Um, probably don't recommend it very often, but quite honestly, um, you know, that ladder is going to be located on the driver's side anyway if you were accessing it from the rear cargo door. Um, unless you were putting cargo on both sides and had to access it, there's probably not a, a need for it. Um, but it's doable. Yeah. And just a request uh, on another note to show storage, uh, just a pan of storage on both core plans inside and out, I guess. Sure, you bet. So again, the question was just to show some storage. Um, since this is a complete enclosed B-Van, 
um, almost all of your storage unless we go to some type of a pod to the rear on the rear hitch or if we do something up on the roof is going to be inside the RV. Um, so come on along. Again, this 59K floor plan is actually the floor plan that was hand designed by Russ Garfin, who is the brand manager for Winnebago. Um, he built this floor plan in conjunction with how he would actually utilize an RV. Um, so a swivel seats up front with the same storage that we showed on the 59G. Uh, there is storage right here inside the floor in front of the two cockpit seats. Inside, we have full banks of storage along both sides in the 59K. So um, again, these are the lightweight Italian made by a yacht manufacturer, which we utilize to minimize um, uh, moisture adhesion and also to free up cargo carrying capacity because we have nearly 2,000 pounds of cargo carrying capacity uh, in each floor plan. Um, full banks of overhead storage with positive lock latching mechanisms, which means we can close this off and contain that so things aren't going to jump out in transit. Uh, full banks all the way down each side. Alongside the patio side in the 59K then, we have two compartments, storage underneath your home theater system. And then underneath the patio side twin bed, we have locations for the flex bed kit. So we can convert these twin beds into a king bed. Um, if you're not going to utilize the cushions, obviously you got a tremendous amount of storage in here. Um, but again, we've got the Froley Deluxe Sleep System in conjunction with the elevated headboards. Then you can elevate each side. Underneath this side is actually where the Truma Combi system is located. Um, so not storage underneath this side, only alongside the uh, patio side. A uh, great wardrobe closet is included here in the rear full bath with a full stack of drawers. Again, these are all full length extensions with metal drawer glides. So a full drawer stack and then a large wardrobe closet. Again, we're in the 59K floor plan, so this is the twin bed setup. There is a folding sink that's included in the 59K with this satin nickel high-rise gooseneck style faucet, a mirrored medicine cabinet. A lot of versatility in this rear full bath. You can see many of the Truma Combi quiet and tuned insulated ducts for the um, heating and hot water system. Uh, both these models now have the Truma Combi set up. And then hope as you walk through that way, if you would just cover that refrigerator real quick. That's the compressor driven fridge. Uh, that we have a wonderful video where we've tested how long we can run that in isolation, uh, dry camping off the grid, utilizing just the 100 watt solar. Uh, drawer stacks are included underneath um, the microwave and convection oven. And then I'm going to cut across you guys so you can check out my shorts and also show the slide out extension alongside the driver's side in front of the driver's seat. Okay, so that was the pan that a guest had requested on the 59K just to show some of the storage. We'll jump back next door now to the 59G. And again, if you've got questions, be sure to chat those in so that we can cover all the things that are important to you. So again, this is the 59G floor plan. It was actually the original debut floor plan, very successful. Uh, same storage that you saw across that we showed earlier in the webcast as well as next door on the 59K. Uh, your water tank is actually enclosed underneath the side facing bench. Uh, so that's not storage. The new cubby storage which is included above the home theater surround sound system. There is also storage behind this television. Again this is a 12 volt high definition television. Very few things in this RV actually require 110 volt. And then inside the main area here, you probably can't hear it, but we actually do have the Max Air Premium Vent System running right now. Uh, it's a thermostatically controlled vent system that does include the rain hood. So storage up top here, storage in the wardrobe closet. 
This is a different style refrigerator. This is a true three-way refrigerator. So it's 12 volt LP and 110 volt, just underneath the over the refrigerator style uh, microwave. Full drawer stacks are included in the galley area. Certainly I haven't forgotten the location for the waste paper basket. Same positive lock latching mechanisms. This happens to be the Aosta Cherry without the high gloss. Large overhead Technoform cabinet is included again with satin nickel hardware and positive lock latching. A lot of storage in the rear here of the 59G. We have a drawer that's included here as well as two underneath the bed area as well as sliders underneath that. That was a change that was made several years ago when we actually raised the bed to provide more storage. And then again, two full banks of Aosta Cherry Technoform cabinetry which are included right above the full bed to the rear. Large bath in one with uh, dry dock storage is included in the bath in one. And then also storage to the rear. You were wondering where I went. <laughs> I snuck out towards the patio side. Okay, so we have some other questions that Heidi's gonna yep. tee up to us here. So just a question about the 59K where the, where the posts for the table were, which they're under yep. the passenger side twin bed. Yep, so that was the location for the flex bed kit as well as the pedestal. Um, just regarding the heated tanks, is anything heated other than the tanks themselves? Uh, just the tanks themselves. So the concept there is that you can actually warm that area up to allow for drainage because all of the plumbing systems are above floor anyway. So and again, a, a black and a gray warming pad are adhered up underneath each the black and the gray tank. I'm just wondering, and you answered this in there, but just in case they missed it, does the 59G still have the three-way with propane fridge? It does. So the 59G has a three-way refrigerator, uh, 12 volt LP and 110 volt whereas the uh, 59K has the Novacool compressor driven fridge, which will then function off of 12 volt in conjunction with 110 volt. And again, be sure to check out that video. It's always the second playlist video on each of our vehicle display pages for the 59G and 59K. In the 59K, we have a wonderful experiment that we did over the course of four days uh, where we took a 59K, placed it in isolation uh, here at our dealership with the only thing powering the RV being the 100 watt solar, uh, we ran the refrigerator for over four days and it never skipped a beat in terms of seeing right around that 37 degree mark. And, and we could have kept going. We could have kept going and a couple of those days were overcast and um, we stopped in literally two or three times a day to check not only the voltage on the batteries but also the temperature inside that compressor driven fridge. Um, question on the 59K, can the TV be rotated to be viewable from the outside? It can. Yep, so that 12 volt television can be utilized on the patio side, uh, outside, or also inside the RV. It's really designed so that it, you can utilize it for the front seats as well as the rear area. It's a little bit more challenging because we do have the rear and side screen door options on all of our inventory. So this is the side screen door. Just generally how we do between the 59G and 59K? You know, we get that question a lot and um, we've actually looked at it so that we can ensure that we're stocking accordingly so that we have inventory for our guests. And it used to be when the 59K came out, it was about 70% K and 30% G. Now it's very, very close to 50-50. And um, we're a pretty good barometer for that because uh, we are the largest Travato dealer in North America. And so we're a good barometer for what that mix is, but quite honestly, it should be geared towards how you're gonna utilize the RV. If you want permanent sleeping surfaces, uh, then you're gonna to wanna to look at something like this K that has the rear twin bed that can convert to a king. If you want the versatility of more storage with um, a more usable dinette, then you go to the 59G uh, because it does have that flexible dinette area. It also has the, the uh, full bed that can hinge up against the driver's side. So it provides a lot more versatility and storage. If having your bicycles inside the RV is important to you, um, you could try to attempt to get them inside the K, but most people will utilize those inside the G. It really just depends on how you're gonna utilize the RV. Uh, resale is just as strong on either one. Good question from Sean regarding the 59G fridge and how long we think that would run on 12 volt. That's a good question. And that's a good topic for an experiment. Um, 
Coming soon. Coming soon. Um, yeah, I would have to think it would be fairly similar, um, maybe slightly less. I know that Nova Cool compressor driven fridge is extremely efficient, um, but it's a, it's a great idea. So thank you for that. Um, on the 59G with water lines, although they're internal and the black and gray tanks can be heated, do the shower pump and macerator also require heat heating? Uh, no, they don't, to a certain extent. I mean, if you're really close to below zero, there are some additional products that are offered from that manufacturer that we can actually heat uh, the knife valves themselves. Um, but typically, um, even if you didn't have the heated drainage option, a pretty good rule of thumb is upper teens in terms of a freezing area. Um, that drops it down even further in terms of the heated drainage system. So unless you're in real ultra cold weather, um, we can do additional steps to help you with that. Um, but for the masses, um, the setup with the heated drainage option, which is a very inexpensive option, so we include it on everything, um, will fit the use for a majority of our guests. Um, how many Travados does Winnebago manufacture every year? Gosh, these are tough questions. <laughs> Uh, how many Travados does Winnebago manufacture? I, I would not want, I know how many we sell, um, but I wouldn't want to venture a guess for fear of Russ and his team watching right now. So Russ, if you know, go ahead and chat it in. <laughs> our last, our other question was just yep. to, if it was all the way out. That is now fully extended. Yep, so fully extended and thank you for that because um, earlier when I did that, I had brought it in because the guest wanted to know if we could stop it halfway. Um, fully extended, level four, um, I'm six foot and plenty of clearance. I think we've done it. Great questions today, and I apologize there were two that I didn't answer. Sean, I owe you a video on taking the 59G into isolation and running the refrigerator in 12 volt, right, Sean? Yep. Sean, so thank you for that. Um, also, um, I'll try to find out how many Winnebago's are built by Winnebago Industries, and whoever chatted in, just give me a call, and I'll try to get that for you. But again, thank you for joining us today where we covered the mid-year running line change enhancements to the 2017 Winnebago Touring Coach Travado uh, 59G and the 59K floor plan. Uh, again, keep in mind that if there is something that you wanna see on any of our in-stock uh, RVs that we currently have, uh, any of our factory trained consultants can broadcast live in a heartbeat um, to bring a virtual dealership experience right to your home or office. Uh, whereas a majority of our guests will reach our dealership for the first time when they take advantage of their guest RV delivery experience. So uh, again, we do this almost on a daily basis, so don't feel like um, any question is too surreal because we can actually show you everything that we have here on our campus at Litson RV, where we're literally only one mile north of the Winnebago, Itasca, and Winnebago Touring Coach Division of Winnebago Industries right here in Forest City, Iowa.